welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, welcome to All Things Burn. I appreciate you clicking on this video and checking this channel out. If you are a current subscriber, thank you so much for coming back by and checking out this video. I hope you all are doing well. I hope your families are doing well. And I hope you're living your best blessed life, you all. I'm doing good. Thank God I am back from my cruise, but still on vacation. My husband and I are still on vacation till November the 26th. I believe that's when he has to go back to work. So, yeah, you all, I am so glad to be back with you guys. I have missed you all. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. I appreciate you all subscribing to this channel, supporting this channel liking my videos, commenting, sharing them. I just appreciate all of you all. So we're going to jump right into this Dollar Tree haul. I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of food. Um, a little bit of this stuff I purchased right before I left on my cruise. And then when I got back from my cruise, I went to the Dollar Tree because I was like, I think I might be missing something. Like, I don't want to miss nothing from the Dollar Tree. So I went in there, picked up a few things. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share share them with you all. I am going to talk about my cruise, either the next video or the video after that one. It might be the video when I show you guys what I purchased from my cruise. That's probably when I'll talk about my cruise. But we had an awesome time though, you all. We had an awesome time. Got a lot of rest. I met a lot of amazing people who some have um, subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Y'all know who y'all are. Um, yeah, I met some amazing people on the Mardi Gras, Carnival Mardi Gras. That boat is so huge. Oh my God, it's huge. But our room was gorgeous. And like I said, I'll talk more about my cruise in an upcoming video, but we're just gonna jump into this Dollar Tree haul, y'all. So, so I, like I said, I have a lot of stuff on my, on my desk right here. So I'm just gonna be picking and yeah, just picking and choosing. If you guys hear some loud noise, my son is off today and I think he's in a tournament with Madden on Xbox. So he's kind of loud, y'all. So if y'all hear a lot of loud noise, that's him. Okay, so usually I get the Tampico, the one that says irresistible, um, the yellow one, the blue one, and the green one. But this time, since I'm staying away from sugar for 30 days, I picked up the uh, Tampico that says zero sugar. I don't know how it tastes, y'all, but um, this one says the citrus punch and the expiration date is April the 9th of 2024. That's what that says, April the 9th of 2024. So I can't wait to, um, I can't wait to try this. I'm hoping that it's good. Y'all, it has been so hard for me to find a drink that I like that doesn't have like a lot of sugar. Oh my goodness, I'm having such a hard time. Um, I did pick up another Cran watermelon. And um, even though this has like 20 grams of sugar, is it 20 grams? Yeah, 20 grams of sugar. I don't drink the whole thing. Um, I only drink maybe like, this much of it like about this much of it at a time so yeah but this is actually for when I come off my sugar you know my no sugar for 30 days but yeah um I picked up some boost protein which is muscle health this says very vanilla and the expiration date is October 9th 2024 these are really good. Uh, my son normally likes to drink these for breakfast if he doesn't get a chance to eat breakfast before he goes to work. 
And then sometimes I'll drink them. I only think I had it once. Yeah, because I like the Premier shakes better than the Boost. But yeah, I have four vanilla ones. So I picked that up. Um, I have two of my Flow Waters. This stuff is gonna come crashing down. I hope not. Um, it's 100% naturally alkaline spring water, and it's the Flow Alkaline Spring Water in the, I wanna say container, because not a bottle, a container, and it is 25.3 fluid ounces, the expiration date is, oh, June 24th of 2025. Oh, awesome. That's good. Somebody once, I was telling somebody, um, well, I was telling you guys that water had an expiration date. And somebody was like, I didn't know water had an expiration date. And I was like, yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. So I got two of my flow alkaline waters i love these waters so i am loving this water you guys i am loving this water like i said i'm just trying to find some non-sugary drinks i did find the green tea by lipton the diet green tea i think it's citrus green tea which i have poured in this cup right here i'm loving that mm. i have been drinking a lot of green tea so then I picked up this baking powder, double acting, gluten-free, 8.1 ounces. Expiration date is um, January 22nd, 2025, y'all. So that's a good expiration date. And with the holidays coming up, you're going to need some baking powder. And then I found this little Morton sea salt. Um, in this cute little container, it's only 4.4 .4 ounces. Expiration date is, <sighs> I don't know if this is an expiration date or not. I don't think it is. So I don't really see an expiration date on here. I mean, this could be, I don't think it is though. I don't think it is. But uh, it is so little and it's by Morton's a name brand, Sea Salt. So, and it's fine. As you see, it says fine right there. So, I thought that was pretty good. I mean, you can get a bigger salt at the grocery store for, what is it, like a dollar fifty, I think? Something like that. I haven't bought salt in so long because I don't really use a lot of salt. I use kosher salt. And um, I like to use adobo in my food. So, I don't use, like, a lot of salt in my food. Um picked up two more cans of the Bruce yams for Thanksgiving so yeah Thanksgiving I'm giving myself a cheat day but I'm not gonna cheat too bad though y'all not too bad not too bad oh y'all um what is today today is the 15th what is today Tuesday or Wednesday Wednesday the 15th so Monday I had a doctor's appointment with my doctor physical I had a physical and I had to get a flu shot in one arm. And she was like, you know, you're due for your tetanus shot. I was like, really, really? She was like, yeah. I said, okay, just put one in this arm and one in this arm. And she said, okay. But she said, you know, the tetanus shot, the tetanus, the tetanus shot is gonna hurt your arm. Like after a while, I guess like she was saying the next day, the flu shot never hurts. But um, I'm talking about like the next day. Oh my God, y'all. I went to raise my arm the next morning and I was about to get in the shower, y'all. I went to raise my arm to do something and this sensation came over me. It was like nothing I had ever felt before. All of a sudden, my head was killing me. My arm was hurting. My upper back right here was hurting. And I was like... What is going on? And I remember I had got that shot. I was actually so it happened twice on Tuesday, but after that I haven't I haven't felt anything else after that. So thank God. I was like, I don't remember that shot ever hurting me before, but I don't know. I'm getting older, so eh. Oof. 
Um, I picked up this Prego Alfredo sauce, class, classic Alfredo sauce. And you guys, I don't know if I told you guys, um, happy Veterans Day. I miss Veterans Day. <laughs> so if you're a veteran or you are a family of a veteran, happy belated Veterans Day. So we went to the Olive Garden for Veterans Day because we came back on Veterans Day. And so we was able to go to the um, Olive Garden to eat for free. Well, my husband ate for free, not us. But yeah, so that's what we did on um, on uh, Veterans Day on Saturday. Sunday was our anniversary, the 12th. And thank you all so much for the anniversary wishes, the comments, the posts, everything. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we didn't do anything fancy on our anniversary because we had just came back from a cruise and we did some specialty dining on the boat and we ate really good on that boat, y'all. So we just decided to go to Red Lobster on um, Sunday for the all-you-can-eat shrimp. So that was good. So that's always good. That's one of my favorite restaurants anyway. So, yep. Thank God for 41 years of marriage. I still can't even believe I've been married for 41 years. I'm like, 41 years that's a long time y'all that's a long time um i picked up this gold medal bakery 100 whole wheat bread y'all this gold medal bread from the dollar tree is so good like the flavoring is really really good i will always pick this up as long as they have it and the expiration date is 12 7 2023 so yeah, I will always pick that up when I see it. Got some hamburger buns because we probably do some grilling on the rest of the stretch of our um, vacation. So I got the hamburger buns. I got the hot dog buns. Really good. We really, really like them. They taste just like any other, <laughs> any other um, brand. That's what I'm trying to say. Picked up these Wise Honey Barbecue Potato Chips. This bag is full. I was shocked because normally you get about this much, it seems like, but it's up to here. I was really shocked. So that is for my husband's lunches when he goes back to work. Also picked up these um, Pop Corner White Cheddar Flavored Chips. Y'all, this bag is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It says one point, it says 1.34 ounces, so it's almost two ounces. And the expiration date is June of, I'm sure it's 2024. Uh, yeah, June 4th of 2024. So I just picked up two bags. Just a snack of one when I'm watching Y'all, I'm so excited about the basketball season this year. Ooh, we missed so many games when we was on um, the Mardi Gras. Y'all, do y'all know on in our room? <laughs> I don't know if they did this on purpose. I think they did it on purpose because they don't want you staying in your room. They want you coming out that room so you can spend some money. We didn't. We couldn't watch no games in our room. Only channels they had was HD, HGTV, the Food Network, Nick Jr. for Kids. They had the Cartoon Network. They had a CBS News Channel. They had Turner Classic Movies. And what else did they have? They didn't have a lot of channels. And of course, they had movies on demand. But that was the first time that we were not able to watch basketball or football in our room. We had to go down to uh, Guy's Pig and Anchor where they had multiple TVs. And I mean, that was fun though. It was fun. But I was like, sometimes we just wanted to be in our room, watch TV, watch the game. But I was like, oh my goodness, this is a first. Um, but yeah, I was telling y'all, I'm so excited about the basketball season. The in-season tournaments were so good. Did y'all see what Draymond did to Rudy Gobert? I think that's his name, Rudy Gobert. 
like put him in a chokehold like he was trying to kill the man. I was like, mm -mm, he needs to be suspended for like 10 games. I don't know what's wrong with Draymond. Draymond need to get saved, honey. But anyway, I found some more popcorn, you all. Um, I was so glad. I went to the Dollar Tree in Altamont Springs on Monday. And so they were stocked up with with my hers, fire roasted sweet corn, Mexican street corn popcorn. So I actually bought six bags of these. I have three and I've already given my husband three of the green ones. And I also bought six of the yellow bags. Um, this one just says fire roasted sweet corn popcorn. The other one is a Mexican street corn. So I have three of these. These are mine. So I already gave my husband his six, which is three of the yellow ones and three of the green ones. So we are stocked up for the games, for the movies, or for whatever we wanna, whenever we wanna eat them, y'all. So we got that out of the way. I picked up another box of the Harry and David coffee. Y'all. This is some good coffee. If you can get your hands on it. I had some this morning for breakfast because I made eggs, bacon, grits, and um, biscuits. I have one biscuit though. And um, this, this has four K-cups in here. And it's a medium roast. And it's ground coffee, Northwest blend, hazelnut, praline, and cinnamon. And it's by the Harry and David brand, which is very expensive, you all. But when I tell you this coffee is so good, ooh, it's so good, y'all. It is so good. Every time I see it, I'm gonna pick it up. And I was looking Monday and I couldn't find it. So I was like, no, there's no. I saw the bag one, but not the K-cup one. I want the K-cup one. Cause I got, I think I still have two bag ones left. Then I saw this cute little decor and it just says, live, just simply live, right? Just live, live your best blessed life, live. I mean, it could say live, but you know, it says live. Yeah, so I thought that was really cute. And you can paint it if you want, or you can just leave it the way it is. I'm gonna leave it just the way it is. Then I saw these really cute gift bags. I was like, oh, I have to get these because my husband's birthday is coming up. My son's birthday is coming up. So we got some birthdays coming up. And this one just says the birthday dude, which I probably get this one to my son. And it has like this, it has glitter on the front part. Let me see if you can pick up the glitter. Mm, not really, but there's no glitter on this side. I just thought it was cute. So I picked that bag up. Um, and then I saw these two really nice bags. And I just wanted to have them before they're gone. It just says best day ever, which can be used for any occasion, not just a birthday. So best day ever with that gold, white, black, and like that paper bag type of, you know, feel to it. So you have the best day ever. And then it says, yay, it's your day, which is a really, another really nice one with that gold trim. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. So it has the gold trim on the front, but not on the back. And that was the same with the best day ever. You had the gold on the front but not on the back. And I thought these were some really nice bags. I was like, yes, please. I need those in my life. So I picked them up. So I will have my bags for when all these birthdays come running around here. Then I saw these two, well, they have more, more than these patterns or more than this style. Um, these are gift card holders, and this one just says North Pole Express Special Delivery. 
I thought that was so cute. Really, really cute. And then it says jingle all the way. So I'll probably be taking these with me to Virginia. Yeah, I'll probably take these with me to Virginia. We've already booked our hotel. I cannot wait. We've already got our tickets, uh, our airline tickets. So I can't wait for that trip. Then I saw this was new in my Dollar Tree. Um, it's the McTrader's stuffing mix for chicken. This one says for chicken. So I have two of the chicken ones. I have two of the chicken ones. I'm very curious to see how this tastes. If it tastes anything close to, oh, that's good. No high fruit fruit coast corn syrup. That's good. If it tastes close to a uh, stovetop. But that's good. You see that? No high fructose corn syrup. So I will be making these on Thanksgiving because it's just going to be me, my son, and my husband because my daughter and my son in love are going to Jamaica because I told you he's Jamaican. So he's going to be with his family this Christmas and because they got to check on. They have a house down there in Jamaica and they have a business in Jamaica. So... Yeah, they're going to check on all that, but they're going to have Thanksgiving in Jamaica. And and they're going to bring us back some goodies, too. Um, This is the McTrader's stuffing mix for turkey. So, I could make my own homemade dressing, but if it's just the three of us, I'm not doing all that work. Nope, I'm not doing all that work. Plus, I'm making a really, really big dinner that following Sunday... For my daughter and son-in-law when they come back from Jamaica because I have been promising them they've been wanting some soul food soul food so I was like okay I'll do it when y'all come back um these are closet essentials these are eight pocket shoe organizers and I was looking for the eight pocket one so I had the um six pocket one but it's short like it's about that height, like that height maybe. But these are long. Let me see how long does it say it is. This is 39.37 by 11 inches. So I was looking for that long one. So I have it in blue and I picked up one in gray to do some organizing with, not necessarily putting my shoes in here because I have way shoes for, these, for this right here y'all and then I saw the cutest elf y'all it was the only one I was like man I need two but it's okay I only have this one and I'll probably stand him up by the fireplace because I'm not really decorating a whole lot for Christmas like I was telling you guys because we're not going to be here so yeah so it's so cute so I picked him up. I picked him up. I thought it was going to fall on the floor. And then I picked up these stockings. Now, I don't remember if I picked these stockings up already. And I couldn't remember when I was in the Dollar Tree. And I said, well, you know what? Let me just get them. If I've already picked up three and I'm picking up another three, I'll have six. So... It's, it's okay if I have six, but it's the pattern that I'm going to be doing. Like I said, I was going to be doing that pattern. I think I still may hang these up on the fireplace though. Like I'm going to be doing a little bit of decorating, but I'm not pulling out my big tree and all that stuff. But I thought these were just the cutest. I have three of them. They are so cute and they're melanated. What? Yes, please. I love them. I absolutely love them. So I have three of those. One, two, three. So I have three of those. And I saw these med pads. It says large women, 10, sizes 10 to 13, made in Korea. But it says ideal for symptoms of diabetes. So... I don't know, but I just like the way the socks were made. So I just picked them up. Look at the little 
Look at the little ridges up there. I just thought it was cute. I'm like, I don't care if it says diabetes. I'm gonna pick it up. And she's gonna wear them around the house, of course. Um, ooh, my desk is getting clean. It's getting cleaner. Um, this is the Assured Cotton Rounds, 80 to a pack. I always pick these up. I love these. I absolutely love those. I'm running out of space over here. Let me see something. Okay. Um, I picked up this Sure Fresh. This was like a bonus because it says regularly 45 bags, but you get 58. So just picked up another sandwich, some sandwich bags, little baggies. Um, I had to get me some more of the Buffalo Wing Deli Style Pretzels. I love these, y'all. I love these. They're so good. Like the flavor is so good. Let me see. I want some more food over here. They only have one of these. I was so upset. I think the shelf was like wiped out. There was one left. And it's the Minute uh, Garlic and Olive Oil Jasmine Rice. This is so good. I love using this rice for my chicken fajitas. When I do the um, black beans with the chicken fajita mix and put the rice on the bottom. Oh my goodness. This is the perfect size to make about five fajitas. I used to eat two and my husband used to eat two. And there's always like maybe one or two left, but we, we never eat those. I give it to him so he can take it to lunch the next day. But um, yeah, what is the expiration date? Okay, so February, 2024. Oh, I wish I could find some more of these. These are some good, this is some good rice. Like really good rice. Really, really, really good rice. Um, I wish they had it in like a brown rice, uh, you know, in a brown rice form, even though I get the brown rice in the bag, which I love. I love that. Y'all, I found me some sugar-free uh, wafer vanilla. I was just seeing how many, okay, four ounces. Oh, so it's made with stevia. Okay. So, yeah, y'all. I was like, yes. Come through Dollar Tree with the sugar-free stuff. Come on. Come on. Come on through. So, yeah. This is, um, expiration date is September 13, 2024. So, I was glad to find that. That was a good find. To me, that was a good find. Because, like I said, I'm trying to... Stay away from the sugar. I got what? What is today? 15th. So I got 15 more days. Actually, it's going to be past 30 days. Because I started in October. So. Um, My daughter was looking for these crackers. And I found one pack over in the Altamont Springs store. These things go so fast when they come through the store. I still have some of mine. But she was like, Ma, if you ever see the club crackers, can you please get them for me? So I was able to find one pack. So I'm going to give these to her because she loves these. And you get six on-the-go packs. So, yeah. Yep. So got that. And then this was an awesome find. This was new. This is by Global Brands. It's 12 ounces. And it's soup and oyster crackers for your soup. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. Give me some chicken noodle soup. Let's put some of these in there. Yes, please. Yes. Um, is there an expiration date? <sighs> I don't see one. Of course not. I don't see one. But um yeah, I, I really don't like when I don't see an expiration date. So the only thing I could do is just when I open them up, I can taste them, see if they're stale. If they're stale, they're going in garbage. But I don't think they are because it was new into Dollar Tree. So I don't think they are. But I was happy to find that though. Then um, I found this Cascade. Now usually the Cascade has two in a pack and sometimes four in a pack. 
Well, this time it has six in the pack. I was shocked, y'all. I was shocked. I was like, six? What? Let me pick one up. I probably should have picked up two, but I need to go back to the Dollar General and get the Joy ones that I love. That are $5 and you get 20 of them in there for five bucks. Um, I picked this up for my husband because he said he wanted to color his beard. So I don't know if he going to do it or not, y'all. But um, he said, I have never colored my beard in my, in my life. But he said, I guess I could try it, though. So I just picked that up for him. And it's black. And uh, my son-in-law has used this before. And he likes it. So I don't know. We'll see if my husband likes it or not. Uh, let's let's stick with this food over here and I'll get to that next. So I found some organic coconut flour and you get, what is it? It's almost a half a pound. It's 0 0.5 pounds, so it's almost a half a pound. So I bought two of them. And it's the organic coconut flour, keto, nature's goodness, now, nature's goodness puts out that juice that I like, y'all. Ooh, I hope it comes back to the Dollar Tree. Uh, Super Berry Power Blast that I'm always talking about is by Nature's Goodness. But, um, yeah. I thought that was a really good, fine, organic coconut flour for $1.25. Yes, I'm going to try and fry some chicken in this flour and see how it tastes. I just want to see how it tastes. I don't think I've ever used... Um, I don't think I've ever used organic coconut flour. Okay, so I saw this drink in the Dollar Tree. And because I like orange sherbet ice cream or orange sherbet, ice, yeah, orange sherbet ice cream, the Jelly Belly, um, it just says orange sherbet naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Um, let's see, truth to life flavors, zero sugars, zero sweeteners, zero calories, and zero sodium. So that's why I picked it up. I only bought one because I said, I need to try this first and see if I like it. So once I get it cold, I'm going to see if I like it. Um, the expiration date is, uh, what is that? December 24th, 2023. So I'm going to see if I like it. I will let you guys know in my Dollar Tree empties. Picked up a Diet Pepsi. Of course, of course. No explanation needed. It's just my strong drink. Yeah, my choice of a strong drink. I picked up, actually I picked up five of these. I already put four in my husband's man cave refrigerator, but this one I'm keeping for myself to do my mimosa mocktails, so. It's the Donald Duck orange juice, which is so good. They have another brand of orange juice in there and it looks disgusting. I don't know the name of it. I want to say it begins with an L, but it's on the shelf. And I was looking at it and I was like, mm -mm, I'm not buying that. <laughs> but uh, this one, yes, please. This is a good one. If you've never tried it, try it. You will like it. Let me see, any more food over here? Oh, yo, I lied. I bought two of them. <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't know I bought two. Hmm, it's sparkling water, but yeah, I bought two. Okay, I bought two. Um, what else, any more food over here? Yeah, I got some, um, ooh, that thing is, Really stuck. Let me see. Oh, okay. I'm like, I don't know what that is. Okay. So, of course, I'm always picking up this um, Kendall Farm chicken broth for Zupa Toscana, or then also, um, like I said, I don't think I'm going to make my dressing from scratch. If I did, I would have used some of this chicken broth. But um, I don't know. I may have to use it for 
something else besides Zupa Toscana because I already have two. So this is two extras that I bought just in case, just in case I was going to, um, you know, need it. Also, I found this. This is uh, March 24, 2024. It's the expiration date. And this is, Pir no, Prairie Farms uh, Whole Chocolate Milk. Now, I didn't get this for myself. I got this because my grandson, my, I may be watching my grandson for a couple of days. Um, so I don't know. But I got this for him, and my son likes chocolate milk as well. Although he's grown, grown. But who doesn't like chocolate milk? My my husband likes chocolate milk, but he likes the Yoo-Hoo's. The Yoo-Hoo's, yeah. So I don't know, I just bought this. This is whole chocolate milk. I don't know. I'm sure it's a name brand. And so I just picked that up. I picked up some Tom's. Well, it's compared to Tom's. It's called, um, and acid, calcium, calcium, carbonate, 500 milligrams. I hadn't seen this in the Dollar Tree in a long time. So when I saw it, I bought two, but I took one of them with me on my cruise. So it's probably in my medicine cabinet in my bathroom. So, but this is the other one. Um, these were some sunglasses. This is polarized sunglasses and they looked quite different and so i just picked them up i was like oh oh that looks new but let me see if i can um let me see let me try to cut this off and try them on polarized so i'm sure it takes away that glare when you're driving probably most likely. Okay, so that just went flying somewhere. Polarized. He says polarized. So I'm going to leave the little tags on. So I'm just going to try it on right quick. And let me see. Let me see. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Definitely something to keep in my car. For sure. On those real, 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 real sunny days. When the, when the sun is like blinding your eyes. Yeah. So, let me see, what do I have? Okay, I have another jelly. Strawberry preserves. Love this jelly. And when I tell y'all I use a teeny bit of this jelly, because I don't like a whole lot of jelly on my stuff. I never, I've never put a bunch of jelly on my stuff. It's been like a half a teaspoon, if that. I just want to know that it's on there, <laughs> basically. And so I love that one from the Dollar Tree. Now, I don't know if I picked up these journals before you all. I was saying to myself, and myself said, hmm? That's an inside joke. <laughs> you have to, let me see, what was this? I forgot, I forgot what that was on. I said to myself and myself said, hmm? Oh my gosh, I forgot what that was on. I can't even think about what it was on. But I saw these and I was like, do I have these? I don't remember picking these up. But it's a possibility that I do. And if I do, I'm giving these away. Um, This one says, whoever is patient, patient has great understanding, but one who is quick tempered displays folly. That's this one. And it's really nice. It's by Crown Jewels. They always put out the best. Um, I don't know if I have this one though. There's a, a different scripture on each page. And I like, like I said, I may have it. I don't remember picking this up, but I may have it. There's a different scripture on each page, which I love that. And it's just something for you to. Um, yeah, it's just an inspirational journal. And then this one says, For it is by grace ye have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. Ephesians 2 and 8. And it too has a different scripture on each page. 
And so, and then this one says, do not withhold your mercy from me, Lord. May your love and your faithfulness always protect me. Psalms 40 and 11. Like I said, I don't know if I have these. Like I said, if I do, I probably give these to my daughter. Yeah, I give them to my girls. Um, and then this is my last bag, which is a bunch of makeup, y'all. And some hair accessories. Let me get the hair accessories out first. I think there's only three of those. There's three of those. Oh yeah, and it's and I have um and I have what happened to the other one? about three okay let's get the hair accessories out first these are so pretty actually i could wear this with what i'm wearing but this is just a scrunchie by dollar tree but it's made really well it's really pretty trimmed in satin so you have the beige with the black trim and then you have the black with the beige on it even though it's trimmed in black as well. So, if you can see the difference. One is black and beige, one is beige and black. So I picked that up and then I saw this one. This was my favorite one. This is a faux leather, faux fur, and it's just a really pretty color blue. I'm loving it. Ooh, I'm loving it, y'all. I'm loving it. So that was so, so pretty. And then I found these little um, car air fresheners or for your vent. And it's the Little Joe. Of course, the strawberry one is for me. And then I got the two blue ones for my son and my husband. I did see a, a silver one, but the scent on it was ginger. And I was like, mm-mm. I don't want my car smelling like ginger. <laughs> so... So we just got those two. And the scent on the blue one is Ocean Splash. They didn't have very many. As a matter of fact, I got the last two blue ones and the last strawberry one. And then there was one more, which was the ginger, but I didn't want that one. No, thank you. Oh, y'all, let me drink some of my green tea. Mm. This has been a lifesaver for me, y'all. This green tea by Lipton Citrus. Diet green tea, because I love to drink tea. I have been putting my monk fruit sweetener in there and I have been able to tolerate that. But it's nothing like some real sweet tea, y'all. But this, I'm really enjoying this one. So I bought me a whole case, a whole case. Okay, so, and then this was in the, uh, this is Bio Swiss pineapple bandage and you get 21 of them in here and so let's see what they look like that's the back of it that, that's the back of it so let me just show y'all that again it's a sterile sterile adhesive bandages and i guess that little strip on the back it's what's supposed to cover the little cut. That's what it looks like to me. But I just thought it was so cute. I thought it was so cute. You see how that little strip right there? So let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, so it's different colors. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh my goodness, wait. Okay, so you have these pineapple bandages, bandages, and then you have the colorful ones. Oh, that is cute. I'm actually going to tear one off because <clears throat> I'm just curious. Okay, so they just peel like that. They just peel like that. Wait, let me see. Oh, okay. So let's see. 
So I was like, how can a pineapple be a bandage? But yeah, let's see. Yep, that's, yep. That is the part that you put over your little cut or whatever. I'm just going to put it right there. Oh my gosh, that is just too cute. Oh my goodness, that is just too cute. That is cute. Okay, so I'm glad I saw those. I wonder if they had them in like other different like fruit shapes or whatever. I don't know. They may have and they may not have, but we'll see. We'll see if they do or not. Okay, then I was telling you guys, if you guys ever find stuff in these bags, I know I have another one. It's probably in another bag, y'all. Let me see. Yeah, I thought I bought a purple one, but maybe I didn't. But these Alme, um, is this eyeshadow? Yes, these Alme eyeshadows. What? These are name brands, and I'm loving this blue color right here. And so they did have purple. I thought I bought purple, but it could be in another bag. Or maybe I did not buy purple. Then I saw Beauty Intuition. And did I buy three of those? Yes, I bought three. Of, okay, so I bought three of those. I don't know what happened to the other one with that uh, eyeshadow, but it, it'll it'll pop up. So these have this is another eyeshadow. These are eyeshadow palettes by Beauty Intuition, and this is called Metallic Brights. Really pretty. Really, 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 really pretty. And then this one is called Rosy Nudes. It says long lasting and smooth application. Hmm. That's that one. Beautiful colors. And then this one is called Moody Neutrals. Yeah, I'm loving these colors. These are my two favorite ones. This was my favorite one and this one right here. That, uh, Moody Neutrals. Really beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. So I have those three. That was new in my Dollar Tree. I was like, what? Okay. Now, this was new as well. Um, how many did I buy? Okay, three of those and yeah, I'm missing a bag, y'all. I'm missing a bag. So, but you'll see it on my next Dollar Tree haul because I bought four of those and I only have two. So, you'll see it on my next Dollar Tree haul. But this is by Beauty Intuition once again. And these are lipsticks. I believe these are, yeah, these are lipsticks. Yeah, lipsticks. Beautiful colors. I, the packaging just drew me in, y'all. It just drew me in. Beautiful. I'm going to open up this red one because I just want to know. I just want to know. Oh, it's huge. What does it say? Oh, it just says color. It says color. I was like, what does it say? But it says color. Hmm. I don't think they're matte. No, they are not matte. So I'm just going to put it next to this bandage. Oh, that's pretty. So that's the color of that one. Beautiful. Hmm. I love the packaging. But um, I put it next to the bandage. It's really red. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, wow. So... And then I have this color right here, that beautiful pink. I'm not going to open all of them because they may be gifts. So, and then 
Then they had these. It says, beauty intuition, get ready to shine. These are lip glosses. And I bought two reds and two pinks, but I'm missing a red one and a pink one. So that's the red one. And this is the pink one. Beautiful packaging. Let me open up the pink one. Once again, it says, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's, it says lip gloss on it. This is so pretty. Let me see something. I'm gonna put some on. Mmm. It smells like chocolate. Oh my God, it smells like chocolate. Mmm. Mmm, I like it. I'm glad I bought two of these. Oh my God, y'all, it smells like chocolate. Let me see. No, but it doesn't taste like chocolate. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I'm happy I got that. Let me wipe this off. Okay, and then I saw these eyeshadows in this packaging. Um, these are L'Oreal's. Oh my goodness. It says I. So you have that um, green, you have the brown, then you have that like a tannish color, and then you have that like metallic. Really nice. Let me do the green one. And then it's by L'Oreal. L'Oreal. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, yes. This packaging is really nice. I like it. So that's, that's what it says. L'Oreal. And so you have this side. Okay. Pretty. Ooh, that's the color right there. Okay, so. Hmm. And then you have this one. And that's the color. Hmm. Nice. Ooh, there's a lot of product in here too. Okay. I'm glad I got this. I'm glad I got this. Okay, I believe that is it. I'm just looking around to make sure, y'all. That is it for my Dollar Tree haul, y'all. It is so good to be back with you guys. I have missed you all. Um, I think it's been, what, 10 days, 11 days or something like that since I put up a video. But I was like, I was telling my husband, I was like, Cause he was like, what are you gonna do today? I was like, I need to knock out two videos today. So I'm gonna have to record another video when I'm done with this one, you guys. So, but I wanted to leave you guys with this scripture. Um, Some of you all are fighting situations, like battling things. You know, sometimes you battle things in your mind, you battle things in your heart, in your spirit, or you physically battle. You know what I'm saying? But there's a scripture, and it's been on my heart and my mind for probably the last three weeks, because sometimes people don't always treat you good. Um, and sometimes you wanna get revenge or you want to take matters in your own hand, but the Bible says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, and I will repay. And I will put that scripture up on here so you guys can read it for yourself. But that's not the scripture I'm talking about. The scripture I'm talking about is 2 Chronicles 2015, where it says, and he said, listen, all of you of Judea or Judea and you inhabitants of Jerusalem and you King Jehoshaphat. Thus saith the Lord to you, and this is the part I want you to hear. Do not be afraid or dismay 
because of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but it belongs to the Lord. It says, but it's God's. So don't try to fight. Give it to God. Let him fight every single battle that you're battling. You could talk to God about it. Let him know what it is and say, God, A, B, C, D, E, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I am giving it to you, Lord. And I know that you are going to fight this battle for me. And I'm going to touch and agree with y'all and believe God that he going to fight the battle for y'all. And you will win and come out with the victory. Amen. Amen. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Go be kind to someone. Continue to enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, or whatever time it is that you're watching this video. I just appreciate you all watching. I'm so happy to be back in front of the camera talking to you all. And uh, I will be bringing another Dollar Tree haul for you all. I have another rainbow haul. I have a really good Walmart haul. I went to Rainbow, Walmart, all before I went on my cruise. Um, yeah, I actually went to Rainbow. I didn't order this time. I went to Rainbow. And let me see what else. Oh, ASOS. I still have ASOS for y'all. Yahoo! ASOS. If you don't know what ASOS is, ASOS is, ASOS is an online clothing company and they sell the baddest dresses they're expensive i can't say they're expensive but just wait till they throw that sale or they take 50 percent off that's what i'd be grabbing them but uh, i'm gonna share it with y'all i'm gonna share it with y'all so go have a wonderful wonderful day enjoy the rest of your week and i will see you in my next video bye y'all Love y'all.